So we have moved into a smaller house, actually in a different country as well, and the stairwell is much smaller. And as a result, even though we could get our queen size mattress that goes on this box springs up in the uh, upstairs of that house, there was no way that this box spring would actually fit in the stairwell. So what I'm planning to do in DIY fashion is I'll remove that center piece of wood there after I take this kind of uh, cloth-ish coating off of it. Remove that center piece. Then I'm going to cut right over here and right over there. And I'm going to fold this thing in half like a book. And then it should fit up the stairwell. And then when I get it up there, I'll fold it back out. I'll put it back together, bend it back, put it back together, put some screws in it to hold it together, replace that piece of wood there, and we'll have ourselves a box springs upstairs. At least that's the plan. Now one thing on this particular uh, box spring that you need to be aware of, and it's probably true of many, is that you only have to take this piece off. So you don't want to get too far down and take these staples off or this cloth will be loose and, and whatnot. Now if you do get a few of those, it's not a big deal. Um, you can easily staple them back on. So all I'm doing is just taking these staples out here uh, with a screwdriver and as I need to use a pair of pliers to grab them out. So once those are loose, it just peels back like that. Now you can see down in here, there's the actual springs. Um, and when we get a little further down, that's where we'll bend it. That peeled back, so what I need to do now is take loose this center piece and uh, just take it clear off, get it out of the way. And then I did have to loosen some of the cloth over here and over there so that I could get to the place where I want to cut. I need to cut there and I need to cut over there and then I'll bend this turkey in half and uh, see if we can get it up the stairs. Alright so on each side of this I've marked uh, about, I don't know, a third of the way back here. Uh, both kind of on that side of these staples. The same is true over there. And uh, that's where I'm going to cut. So here we go. Well, I'm terribly sorry that I was not able to record the actual moving of the folded box springs up the stairwell. It was all hands on deck because even though it was folded in half, it actually turned out to still be quite a squeeze to get it turned just the right angles to get up there. So it actually took three of us, uh, two of us to kind of manhandle it and one person to be a spotter to make sure that we weren't gouging holes in the walls or the ceiling or scraping the banister, all of those different things. So I apologize for that. Nevertheless, as you can tell from the photo in front of you, we actually were able to get it up the stairwell. This is a photo of the box springs and it's, uh, we're in the process of folding it back flat and it is in the master bedroom. So you can see that I have not yet tapped the screws uh, into a place yet, but uh, or and, and I have not yet replaced, in this photo at least, the uh, wooden support that goes across here. So uh, what we ended up doing was, as you can see, we flipped it so that it's top side down. And uh, we began to kind of come in here. You can see where the spring had bent just a little bit uh, in this photo. It's kind of hard to tell. Probably it's easiest to see right over here on this side, on this uh, edge. We came back in with, uh, I brought a hammer and we pounded a little bit. That was the suggestion of Tommy in the uh, This Old House video that I watched and saw this demonstrated. I'll link to that uh, in the, uh, the blog post as well. And we sort of pounded on this. He used a 2x4 to 
uh, put on the wire and then he pounded on the 2x4. What I actually found to be a little bit more effective was to just get in there and push down on it with my hands. And then actually also just stand. I stepped right in the middle of this thing and just pushed down with my feet on the rest of those that were bent. And that actually worked really well. So that's what I ended up doing there. Uh, I had uh, my wife hold this down as tightly as we could. I tapped some screws here and I tapped some screws here to fasten this back together. Then I replaced the wooden support here. It had the staples still in it that you'd staple in each one of these uh, pieces of su uh, support uh, going across. And so it actually lined back up perfectly. The holes, the staples uh, lined right back up with their holes. But as you might guess, because we had pulled them out, then they were a little bit loose. And so I went ahead actually and tapped some screws in each one of these as well. It's probably a little bit of overkill. I probably didn't need to do it in every single one, but I had it open, so I thought we might as well. And then I just used my staple gun to reattach all of the cloth. I pulled it tight, stapled it down. I pulled this uh, bottom piece back across, spread it back out, pulled it tight, stapled it back on with a staple gun. We were able to flip it back over and then put the mattress on top of it and you can see that it actually uh, worked great. We set it up onto the bed frame and it fits uh, perfectly. Uh, incidentally, the bed frame that we have actually has a center piece that goes across in the middle. So that was even a benefit as well because right where we cut it is actually sitting and bent it. It's actually sitting right on that support. So that worked uh, quite well actually. So fully supported, box springs back together, holding the mattress just fine, and in fact, we slept on it, and it works great. So I do recommend that if you have trouble getting a large box spring up a tiny um, stairwell, this is certainly a method that you could use to get it done. Uh, the reason why I chose to, to do this particular method is because I saw Tommy on this old house, who is, in my opinion, uh, one of my heroes, um, because the guy can do anything. So go check him out over there on that uh, particular show and their YouTube channel. And uh, I'll link to the video where he demonstrates this, uh, helping a gentleman get his uh, exercised or oversized uh, box spring up a small stairwell. And I recommend it. Anybody can do it. It's not terribly difficult. However, I will say that kind of getting it folded back into place was a little bit more of a, of a thing uh, than we had anticipated. But honestly, uh, we managed just fine.